here. You no one can yet give a legitimate ex explanation. But you're clearly implying that it is odd. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me your lunatic conspiracy theory about how odd. I don't it have was. any. If you say to me, I've been told by experts. I listen. I've been told by many experts in the last 36 experts. hours. There's an entire cultural <laughs> machine that has lied. That, there there is an that entire was it. We just cultural... saw it in real time. That's it. What? That's why. That's so why what? conservatives deserve absolutely zero sympathy. You sound almost gleeful, Destin, and I'm sorry. That makes you, frankly, despicable. I'm not going to get on my knees and and, and beg for uh, forgiveness or or show sympathy I'm to conservatives. You to, I'm not None. asking for that. I'm asking you to condemn what happened as an egregious attack on, on democracy. Can you do that? No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't. You can't do that. You see, not so why the hell, absolutely frankly, not. Destiny, absolutely not. why absolutely the hell not. should we absolutely listen to a not. word you have to say? <laughs> Former President Trump is the king of the political comeback, but even by his own lofty standards, the past four days have been utterly sensational. After coming within a hair's breadth of assassination, last night he made a stunning return to the spotlight of the RNC. And for once, the gravity of the occasion was not lost on him. J. Trump. We are grateful for you to be our nominee for the 47th President of the United States of America. Well, Trump hasn't made an entrance quite like that since he descended the golden escalator in 2015 to announce his first run for president. Bandaged and emotional, he walked into the arena like a UFC star and got the reception to match. He did that. That was absolutely amazing. Hey, welcome back to Courageous Media. Thanks so much for joining me. We have a fantastic, well, we have a very interesting show tonight. We're going to be checking out the debate on Piers Morgan where... Destiny gets in it with Ruben and Piers Morgan, and it is just nuts, off the wall stuff. We're also going to be doing a video. Please keep an eye out for it. We're going to be going through all of the facts as we know them about the assassination, about uh, you know security and things like that. So we're going to they're not going to be part of this video, even though they're part of of the debates. So we're going to skip those, but we want to get to the part where Destiny and Ruben and Piers discuss what we've seen in the media, on libs of TikTok and other places, people actually celebrating this event and or decrying that the shooter missed. It's gonna be wild. Let's check in, let's go. This has re-energized not just the Trump base, which was energized, but this new wide swath of disaffected liberals and UFC fighters and NFL players and just good, decent Americans to realize that Donald Trump is not the enemy right now. And this, this fake call for unity. Yes, I would like unity in a land of unicorns and everything else, but you can't on one day be, or spend four years basically calling the guy uh, Hitler and his supporters Nazi. Then he gets shots and now we should have unity is is just nonsense. I'm well, sorry. And also for the current president of the United States to be asked, you know, do you, do you have any soul searching about the language you've used, given that days before this shooting, he had told donors that it was time to put Trump in the bullseye. And then he, he tries to dance his way out of this by claiming, I didn't say crosshairs, as if somehow when you talk about human beings, bullseye or crosshairs mean any difference. Uh, obviously, he didn't mean, I think Donald Trump should be shot. But obviously, if you're a deranged young lunatic with an impressionable mind, who the hell knows what that kind of language? We don't know yet, right? But They're absolutely right. Realize that we, we've showed the clip over and over again. The, the compilation of every propaganda media source calling Trump Hitler, saying he used Hitlerian language, saying he wants to put people in chains, saying he's an enemy of democracy, saying he's an existential threat, saying he wants to enslave you, saying he wants to take away all your rights, saying he wants to destroy the press, saying he wants to kill people over and over and over and over again. And then to have Biden say, put him in the bullseye after Biden has said he's Hitler. He acts like, I mean, it's the incendiary language is over the top. He's absolutely correct. Any of well, the motivation, apparently there's a kind of very, very strange, again, a very strange lack of information that they've been able to find out about this young shooter. Here's, 
Of course, but you also have to understand that there has been an entire media machine, mainstream media machine and Democrat elite that for years, since before Donald Trump was president, have been calling him Hitler and his supporters Nazis. What would someone do if they truly believe that? I'm not directly linking this to Biden's bullseye comment, as irresponsible as it may be, or anyone else's specific comment. But over time in culture, if things get normalized, and yes, this man is going to put us in camps, and you can turn on MSN. NBC on any given day, and they're talking about how they're all going to be arrested and taken off the air, and what he's going to do to minorities and gays and everything else. All utter, complete nonsense. At some point, people might get a subtle message and then do something crazy. Again, we don't know if that was well, you what know happened what? I, right I think... now, but we certainly can ask okay. about it. And I look, I think, to be completely fair, I believe Donald Trump has spouted a lot of very uh, ill-advised and occasionally very dangerous rhetoric. And I want both sides to dial it down because actually where this leads to is where it's led to. And in Britain, we've had two members of parliament in the last 10 years murdered by people for political reasons, you know, basically. But what what is the rhetoric that Piers is talking about here? I'd love to know in the comments if, 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 you, have any, if you have any thoughts on this. Yes, Trump has said that Biden is destroying the country. Trump has said, I mean, he's talked about uh, the illegal migrant problem. He's talked about the fact that, that Biden is, is letting in people from insane asylums and prisons and mental institutions and look at what they've done to our country. He talks about the women who have been murdered and raped. And he talked about the other crimes that these people have committed. Okay. He has called nobody Hitler. He hasn't called Joe Biden, Joseph Stalin. He hasn't said he's Lenin. He hasn't. The rhetoric, yes, he's, he, 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 gets goes hard in on policy and what he thinks is Biden destroying the country but he has never equated Biden to a historically objectively evil figure who was guilty of mass murder to the tune of 12 million people for the torture and murder of those people nobody in the republican movement has compared Biden to that certainly not cer certainly not anybody with a with a platform or a voice that I know of now maybe I'm wrong would love to hear from you in the comments. I mean, there's certainly maybe some language that has been over the top, but nothing to the effect of what they've done. No existential threats. No, he's no, he's going to put you in chains. He's going to make you a slave. I mean, okay. Because, you know, lunatics have wanted to eliminate them. Uh, let me bring in Destiny, because uh, you've been at the centre, as you know, of a, a massive uh, online response to what you were saying. Uh, and... I want to go through what you said, and I want to talk to you about this in a, in a hopefully in a, in a calm manner to try and understand what you were thinking. So on Saturday evening, hours after the shooting, you said, let me clarify, when I say conflicted, what I mean is I lean towards seeing it as a natural extension of the thing Trump and the MAGA kids support. So I don't think I have much sympathy about the attempt enough to chastise people celebrating it. You, you couldn't find it uh, in your heart to chastise people for celebrating the near assassination of, the, of a, a man who was president of the United States and maybe again? Absolutely not. Conservatives have completely bled that well dry. And the idea that they, after engaging in the most divisive and most extreme rhetoric that this country has seen in recent history, that they would come on and, and beg for sympathy, that it's escalated in some kind of violent confrontation, is absolutely insane. Even the idea right now of saying, well, if you call somebody a Nazi for so long, it's, you know, what do you expect people to do? I grew up listening to Rush Limbaugh call Obama a communist every single day he was on the radio. The two are not even comparable in, in today's culture. Calling someone a communist in today's culture does not bear the same weight of vitriol that calling someone a Nazi does. It's not even close. Now, objectively, if you want to be a student of history, absolutely. They're on par with each other. Communism had killed 100 million people. But in today's day and age, it's the difference between calling someone the N-word versus some other epithet for a black person. The N-word is just anathema. You can't use it. You can't even talk about it. The same thing is true with communist versus Nazi. In today's culture, it carries a much different connotation, not even close. And that, guess what? That was Rush Limbaugh about other people because he's been dead now that Biden's been president. So you don't even have an argument there. But the fact that he would not even chastise people for celebrating an attempted assassination, 
this Destiny guy is, a, well, he's a lunatic, and I, I fear he may be worse. Um, you've got conservatives that talk about how the mRNA vaccines were ways to sneak microchips into us. You've got COVID lockdowns that were done because the government was trying to take all your freedom away. They won't acknowledge anything that happened on January 6th. Um, they say that the election was stolen and that your country is being taken from you. Like, <clears throat> I don't think anybody should be killed. I don't think anybody should go and kill anybody. But when you engage in this type of rhetoric and when you turn the temperature up over and over and over and over. That rhetoric is not the same as calling someone a Nazi. It's not the same as saying someone's going to enslave you. It's not even close to what they've done with Trump. And they're all objective evidence that at least paints a picture that 50% of the people could believe that. There's absolutely nothing that Trump has done to make him akin to someone who killed 12 million people. January 6th is rife with inconsistencies, with exculpatory evidence that was withheld. And again, it's not Trump's fault. Trump did not instigate that one iota look at every text, every speech in context. The mRNA vaccine has turned out to be a gigantic train wreck with death tolls that may someday equal the actual virus itself. Now, you're talking about an ultra fringe that said the mRNA is a way to introduce microchips. No, it was a way to introduce an experimental drug into your body that no one knew what the heck it was going to do and has now proven to cause myocarditis, to cause infertility, to cause sudden death at points, to cause strokes, to cause Guillain-Barre syndrome. So none of these are violent rhetoric. Saying that they're not going to get the mRNA vaccine is not violent rhetoric. Destiny is off his freaking rocker on this. Over again, there is absolutely no room for but you, you to say, be shocked okay, or but you surprised. Say, and okay. there certainly is a room for you to ask for sympathy. But, you say, you, but Destiny, you say you don't want anybody killed, and yet you say, I don't think I have much sympathy about the attempt to chastise people celebrating it. It's people celebrating the near assassination of Donald Trump, if you can't find it in you to chastise people who do that, aren't you just as despicable as the people you've just spent the last two minutes haranguing? No, because they've yes, led yes. the way. This is the environment that they've created. So you just I, so you think behaving like saying, the people you think are despicable is the correct course of action? Not about behaving. Behaving like the people who are despicable would be leading that type of letter. Would be leading that type of rhetoric. It would be denying every single You're bad thing. How many times as a liberal? They do, how though. many times? How many times as a liberal have you been on a show? Not you in general, but like a liberal been on a show and you've been forced to disavow all of the BLM riots, disavow all of the violence, and blah blah blah. And then you talk to yeah. conservatives about disavowing it. Disavowing violence. That was That's good. Flag. Yeah. January sixth. Oh, like conservatives disavow January sixth. Wait, wait, wait. First off, there's an entire cultural machine <laughs> that has lied. That, there there is an entire it. cultural... Just in real time. That's it. What? That's why, that's so why what? conservatives... This guy doesn't want an actual debate or a discussion. This guy's a freaking fool. The BLM riots caused billions of dollars of damage, mul dozens of deaths, and hundreds of injuries. The January 6th riot, which was, again, it's full, it's rife with inconsistencies. Was there violence done on January 6th? Absolutely, there was. It was very isolated in terms of the overall number of people there. And in almost every case, you've got one or two or three instigators which have not been tried or prosecuted because come to find out, or at least suspect, because they haven't been tried or prosecuted, they were FBI and or government informants or agents. So that whole thing stinks to high heaven. And guess what? Nobody died except for one of the rioters who was shot and murdered through a door by a police officer who was not in danger of his life in, in one iota. So you've got a completely different narrative than BLM. And oh, by the way, you've got BLM rioters over and over again that were bailed out by the libs, that were not prosecuted by the libs. You had DAs that say, I'm not even going to bring charges. DAs that let them go. So you've got two completely different narratives between January the 6th and BLM. And again, you've got dozens of people who have been sent to prison for January 6th for trespassing, didn't destroy anything, didn't burn down a building, didn't kill anybody. And oh, by the way, they had exculpatory evidence withheld in their trials. Two totally different narratives. And this fool won't even listen. Doesn't have to be convinced. He doesn't have to change points, but he won't even listen. He shouts everybody down because he's a, he's a disgusting garbage person who doesn't have a logical argument to stand on. When you start yelling, you know that you're losing. Everybody else knows you're losing. 
this deserve absolutely zero sympathy for anything that happens as a result of their rhetoric. That's it. It's so it's so easy. Like, okay, it's but, so simple. Uh, okay, but I'm Destiny. not exactly sure what he's talking about, but I would say this is the type of person that the internet has broke their brain, thus leaving them with very little empathy for their co-human. I mean, a good, decent father uh, is now dead because of this. He's had his brains blown out because he was defending his wife and daughter. I would hope that you have a little empathy well, for actually, that. I, I assume can, you well, don't I can, think he deserved that. Well, let me, yeah. jump, let me jump in there because we have a clip of what Destiny has said about that very thing. Let's listen to this. It, the dude, um, the firefighter guy, uh, Trump, the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever, the I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am 100%. I mean, I, I gotta say. I what? I'm sorry. What a disgusting piece of shit this guy is. I, I, I've, had, I've had no experience with this destiny fool whatsoever until really tonight. This guy is an absolute disgusting POS garbage person. The fact that you would say that about the firefighter who had nothing to do with vitriol or rhetoric or anything. He was simply there at a rally to support the candidate of his choice with his family who died because of a knucklehead that was wound up and set loose by the liberal rhetoric that this fool won't even acknowledge. And he says, F that guy and F Trump and F everybody else. This guy does not even deserve the time of day that we're giving to him. But I want to platform this guy for long enough for the entire world to know just how disgusting he is and to avoid his show like the plague. And to think that he actually has a show? That it hasn't been deplatformed by everybody else who's deplatforming people? Wow. The cognitive dissonance is deafening. Yeah, I just found that repulsive. Destiny. It is repulsive. Yeah, the, 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 I, I wish that you... I, the, there is no room. There is no room for the hand-wringing. And I will, ne I will not participate in oh, this anymore. Oh, it's not hand-wringing. The hand-wringing. No, it's no, not it hand -wringing. absolutely is. No, it's just that you, you are positioning you yourself. So well. no, but you, when you, you are, when you are destiny, in a world to you. where conservatives can say anything. No, I'm not a conservative. They can have any conspiracy theory. I'm not a conservative. They can have any plot. They can do any of these things. And then, and then liberals are supposed right, to sit here and be like, destiny, oh my no. God, it's so tragic. No, destiny. Absolutely not. Let me explain. Absolutely. Let me explain my position because I'm not a conservative. If Joe Biden was killed tomorrow, I would not celebrate or dance on his grave if he was assassinated. I would consider it a tragedy because it affects America. It would be disgusting. This guy can't even condemn violence. In fact, he celebrates it. The, the, his non-condemnation of the death of the firefighter, of the assassination attempt, is actually celebrating it. He's gleeful over this stuff. This man is a disgusting garbage person. Oh, my word. I'm, he's winding me right up because this is just heinous. It's inhuman to treat other people this way. I'm not, I'm not on either side in your race, right? Here's what I think about what you did. You'd like to fire off, as you've done so far in this debate, about your fury at how disgusting Republicans are, how inhumane they are, how they never have any empathy, blah, 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 blah. And then you yourself actually are exactly the, the person that you're describing. You are inhuman. You are somebody who seems almost gleeful that a young firefighter with a family, with a wife and children, who he was protecting as he was shot dead, that he deserved what was coming to him because he went to a President Trump rally, a man who was President of the United States until recently for four years and maybe again. You sound almost gleeful, Destin, and I'm sorry, that makes you, frankly, despicable. Absolutely. I don't think I'm despicable. gleeful about anything. I don't wow. think anybody should die. I don't think anybody you deserves are. to die. But you want to talk about gleeful? Look at the conservative response to Pelosi's husband no, no. when they broke in. I can there answer are that. Mainstream media figures I can answer that. that. I don't care. I can answer that. With all I, respect, think... I don't care what your Let answer, me answer is. That. The reality is, is that conservatives have been turning the temperature up on the rhetoric. They have been making fun of these types of events for years. And now when something happens to them, now they're, they're looking for, for, uh, for sympathy from mm. the liberal side? Absolutely not. It's insane. Right. It's unhinged. Yeah, that you can conduct problem. yourself in such a manner but and expect people problem. to feel sorry when things happen. Why should, why should anybody on the right listen to a word of your hectoring and lecturing about how they should behave? And by the way, for the record, the mockery of Nancy Pelosi's husband when he was attacked by an intruder with a hammer was also despicable, right? I, I can see despicable behaviour on all sides and I'm happy to call it out when I see it. You, however, want to present yourself as this great kind of standard bearer of decency 
who sees outrageous behaviour on the right time and again and is incensed by this disgusting, inhumane behaviour. And yet, I'm time sorry, and no, again, no, no. since the attempted assassination I... of Donald Trump, you have displayed exactly the same kind of inhumane behaviour. F*** him about a, a fireman who is, who is killed because he attends a rally of a guy yeah, he wants to vote with, for. My issue, with the, my issue with the MAGA kids is not that they are not empathetic. My issue is that they support a president that led an insurrection against the United States. I'm not here to tone police over their empathy. 18 I'm million. Just that he did not lead an interaction, insurrection, you bloody fool. This Destiny guy is a complete and utter moron, a complete and utter garbage person. The fact that he would say that about the firefighter is despicable, it's disgusting, it's inhumane. He spouts lie after lie after lie. Now, I don't know what he's talking about in terms of the mockery of the attack on Pelosi's husband. There were a lot of people asking questions about that attack. For example, why when the police showed up, Pelosi's husband was several feet away from his attacker and did not run to them, didn't go to them and stood there while the guy hit him with a hammer while he's talking to the police. The whole thing was weird, but nobody that I know of mocked or celebrated his getting attacked. Nobody did that, that I know of. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. This is absolutely insane. This guy is a complete and utter garbage person. I can't imagine anybody watches any content, any drivel this fool puts out. If people voted for, for empathy, Donald Trump last time around. Say, that's great. 80 million people voted for a guy that tried to insurrect the government, mm. and it looks like they might he try to do it again. I mean, like, I don't know what to idiot. say. That's, these are the facts on the ground. Um, the idea that so you don't like you don't like attacks sympathy. on you don't like attacks on democracy. So presumably, you would unreservedly condemn the attempted assassination of Donald Trump because that's one of the most egregious attacks on American democracy of modern times. Presumably, you will take this opportunity, to... given you I, are I so anybody... determined to protect the integrity of democracy, you would find it absolutely outrageous that someone has tried to assassinate a president, right? If, if the other conservatives on this show want to say that it was absolutely outrageous, Absolute silence on his part. Outrageous no, I'm asking you. The coup the government. I'm asking then, you. Then maybe then I would. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get on my knees and and, and beg for uh, forgiveness or or show sympathy I'm to conservatives. You to, I'm have not none. asking for that. I'm asking you to condemn what happened as an egregious attack on a, on democracy. Can you do that? No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't. You can't do that. that. You see. Not so anymore. why the hell? Absolutely frankly, not. Destiny. Absolutely not. Why the hell should we not. listen to a not. word you have to say wait, wait, about? Hold on. Why do you think conservatives? You should not listen to a word this fool has to say about anything. Anything. Wow. I am just. I am blown away by the deaf ears this fool has. By the cognitive dissonance that he just blares at with every statement. He is a disgusting ideologue who has no empathy for anybody or anything. He celebrates with glee the assassination attempt, the death of the firefighter. They didn't even ask him about the two people critically injured. He's probably dancing on them too because Donald Trump tried to lead an insurrection, which is patently false, absolutely not true. No evidence for it whatsoever. Plenty of evidence that the whole thing was an inside false flag setup run by the FBI, the CIA, with contract Antifa people brought in and, and, and confidential informants. Plenty of evidence of that. But Donald Trump had zero to do with it. He literally said peacefully and patriotically protest, which you're allowed to do. He literally at, sent, requested three times to send the National Guard, but, it would, but Nancy Pelosi and the mayor of Washington, D.C. wouldn't let him. I'm not even going to go into all the facts. Just this guy's disgusting attitude. I am literally blown away. This is what people see on the left. Disgusting pieces of garbage like this who have no feelings, no empathy. It is all about, for him, I don't know what it's about. It's all about power and, and a grift to get some money. I don't know. But he has no character, no principle, nothing, nothing of value. Does, if, does anybody listen to this fool? I'd love to know in the comments. I'd love to know if all of his shows are this vitriolic and, and disgusting. And does he spew evil vomit all the time? Is there ever an intelligent word that he has to say? I would love to know because I'll never go to a show to find out. I'll need you guys to tell me in the comments. I'm done with this, but wow. I had to show you that because I was just blown away when I saw the first part of this interview. I said, I have to go watch that interview and, and 
bring it to my audience to see where this thing goes. And it just got deeper and deeper and uglier and uglier. That is just WTF. I am shocked and amazed. Wow. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Please smash the like button on this. Share it with everybody that you know so that everybody in America can see this guy for who he is and divorce themselves of him and his content whatsoever. And anybody who's affiliated with him or not affiliated, anybody who agrees with him on this stuff, we should be mourning the firefighter. We should be mourning the fact that Donald Trump was almost killed. We should be mourning the two people who are in critical condition, not doing this. Please let me know what you think. Hey, would love to have you support the channel more deeply. If you can become a member on YouTube. Also, if you want to become a part, uh, part of our core team, please turn on those notifications and then take the appropriate steps. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've listened to this point, Courageous Army, Courageous Family, thank you so much for your awesome support as we drive towards 60,000. You guys are the best. We are growing the channel and we're going to get more influence so that we can call out people like this. Thank you so much. Remember, God is good and he is sovereign. It'll all be good in the end. Hey man, if it's not yet good, it's not yet the end. Till I catch you next time.